Hey guys, Gene here with G-Squared Tactical. Hope all you guys are having a great day. I am outside, so forgive the noises. Lawnmowers, dogs, birds, whatever. We're outside, get over it, I guess. This is the Taurus G3 Toro. So that would be the Taurus optic ready option. It essentially is the G3. With the cutout for the optic, I happen to have a Vortex Viper on here. I like Vortex optics uh, for the price you pay. Uh, in my opinion, they perform just as well as some of your higher price options. And I'm not paying five or $600 for a Trigicon or something like that. Not unless I have a $300 pistol I'm putting on it, putting it on, in which case you spent $300 or $3,000 on a pistol, so why not, right? But again, Taurus has not only just made leaps and bounds in the recent years with reliability, consistent reliability. We have not had a single issue with any of our G3 or G2 G2C, any of our G-Series pistols or revolvers for that matter. And I would say the last two, three years, any we've bought, I mean, not one single issue. And I hope and suspect that will not be the case with this one either. Uh, I just picked this up, so I haven't had a chance to shoot this yet, but I did do a few little upgrades. And one that you will notice is that I put the Ameriglow raised sights on here with the front outlined in green. Uh, tritium field and just the black um, U-notch style rear sight. They are steel and like I said, they are raised so that the bottom quarter will co-witness. And I, I guess, you know, call me old school, whatever, but this is electronics and I don't care if like on the Holison, you have a solar backup on there. It is electronics any of that is subject to failing and I don't care how many of these have said they were fog proof or whatever everyone I've ever had or known anyone to have they all fogged up in some capacity so you know I just like personally to have the iron sights as a backup this gun does come with standard Glock type night sights I mean essentially you can swap them out with Glock sights and I'm pretty sure that these sights that I purchased on here are Glock sights. I ordered them for a Glock pistol. So it comes with standards, but they are steel. They're not polymer or plastic like on some of the former uh, um, G series uh, pistols. And they're not adjustable or anything like that. But they are steel, they're standard, U notch in the rear, and uh, plain old white dot in the front that's what comes on the pistol but again i wanted the raised sight so that i could co-witness through my optic and like i said on uh maybe the revolver taurus 856 video we did you know taurus always gives extras and maybe some of the manufacturers some of the other ones glock sig and so forth could could take you know notes from that because you seem to always open the box and find little goodies that maybe in some cases you didn't even know were going to be in there and i will take a picture of these standard sites that come on there that i removed and replaced so that you guys can see that but it comes with one two three it looks like three plates well actually four because i have one on the gun so it comes with four plates for I would say probably just about any optic you want to put on there. If you want to put a Trigicon or a Holison or a Shield or whatever suits you, I'm sure there's a plate here for it. Um, like I said, I happen to use the Vortex. So, and this also comes in a compact version with I think 10 and 12 round magazines. This is obviously the full size version. It comes with a flush fitting magazine that has 15 rounds and you know while i'm doing it that's a nice good positive ejection of of the um magazine there and like on the other g uh g3 the standard g3 it doesn't necessarily have an extended mag release but i don't have to change my grip in order to you know release the magazine which is pretty awesome i wish a lot more were that way and most pistols i have to change 
change my grip in order to you know release my magazine unless of course i install an extended one just another nice little something i don't have to do to my gun after i buy it you know it's already ready just like i don't have to buy 40 dollars plates to put on here in order to put an optic on here uh just the money racket just another reason why i'm a, you know becoming a fan of taurus again when i never was before so then you also have the flush i mean i'm sorry the extended you don't really need it as you can see my pinky is probably a flush or maybe even an eighth of an inch or so away from the bottom of the mag well here so you don't really need that for purchase i don't suppose but it does give you the 17 round capacity and if you could shoot two more rounds why wouldn't you right so you got a 15 and you got a 17 round magazine and on i think on the uh g3c toro or the compact it's a 10 and a uh, 12 round magazine it's got the same stippling as you are accustomed to seeing on the g3 nice stippling on the front and the back not too much <clears throat> i guess not too little i'm i don't care either way that kind of stuff is never really I, I could do with or without it i suppose but it's got a nice look to it a nice feel to it it's not too aggressive your clothes don't really seem to stick to it I know that it feels kind of sort of like a sandpaper grip, but I've never had my clothes or anything to snag on it, so I don't think that would be of any concern. Again, front front and rear stippling on the, on the grip there. It has front and rear slightly canted uh, serrations. If you wanted to do a press check, you know, you can easily manipulate it. And one thing I can say about the slide is that you know it's very smooth very easy to manipulate i know that you know my wife says that sometimes she has problems with some of the pistols i have manipulating the slide and she really likes this one of course you have the trigger that comes in about four pounds ten ounces which is lighter than the glock trigger just in case you were wondering because everybody compares everything to glock right but it does have very little to no resistance i would say for three quarters or close to it of the pull back but then once once you do get the resistance from there to when it breaks is about four pounds ten ounces you do have the double strike or the ability for it to be like a double action i suppose um it's about 25 ounces give or take a a little bit it's what it comes in on the way i think it's actually 24 8 or something like that on how much it weighs the barrel is four inches the overall height is 5.2 inches overall length is 7.28 inches um it does have a sight window up here i guess they call that a loaded chamber indicator i guess if you've got if you've got um i guess metal or stainless colored ammo in there I don't it's kind of hard to see maybe i'm blind i'm not really sure these are by the way before i forget to mention it these are met car magazines the trigger has the traditional glock style or what you would see on the other g series the center safety here in the trigger again they call that a safety as well being able to see the they call it a loaded chamber indicator but it's just a sight window to be able to see in there it is very identical if not exactly identical in size to the glock 17 except it does have a slightly shorter barrel i mean very slightly short shorter uh, less than a half inch i believe and it's got the stainless steel uh, barrel as you can see the integrated pick rail looks like a three slot here for your flashlights lasers etc i got the tlr7 it seems to look about the best on there and that's what i have chose to put on there but you can put anything you want 1913 style or pick pick rail uh whichever you want to call it um you know one other thing i wanted to say about this restrike option on the trigger is that you know if you're new and you're practicing or maybe you're trying to show someone you have a child or something like that you know that's a nice little feature i mean i just thought about that today but you know 
if if you're practicing dry firing and you know yeah of course if you want to check the reset which by the way is fantastic um, you would have to rack the slide back but if you're just dry firing practicing if you had a Glock or most or any other pistol for that matter each and every time that you dry fired either the trigger would come back forward or stay back and you would have to rack the slide again to be able to pull the trigger again and it's real nice to not have to do that to simply just be able to continually have the restrike feature and be able to continually pull that trigger and not to mention if you hit a round it does not go bang uh, you get another chance to hit it again and maybe it'll go bang the second time and just just so you know there have been times that I have you know used that for a dead round or a dud round or whatever and it go off the second time so that's a very nice little feature that I think um, is undervalued by a lot of people um, this one does have the thumb safety with the little red dot here as an indicator when it's on fire nothing is ambidextrous nothing for the lefties over here I guess too bad for you guys it does take down just like the Glock or just like the other G series, just slightly pull the the uh, slide back, pull down on your little pieces here in the center, and push the slide forward, and she should come right off. I don't know why, but uh, sometimes they don't like you. Do have to pull the trigger, by the way, but. Uh, YouTube don't really like us taking the guns apart. I don't know why, so I don't really want to get too much into taking the gun down. But um, again, just like with the other Tarses that we've done, I just can't say enough about how smooth, how, how fine the lines are. You know, there doesn't seem to be any snag points or anything like that. Very easily manipulated the slide catch or slide lock here is very very easy to to manipulate as you're pushing the slide back you can drop the slide very easily it's not tight it's not difficult all of that without changing your grip um, it doesn't have a very deep beaver tail here but for some reason it works because i am able to get a very high grip on this gun which again helps aid in control of course but also me being able to drop this magazine without without at all moving my grip or changing my grip which is which is very nice i i like that and i don't know what more to say about it because we've done a review already several reviews range reviews etc on the g3 and this is so much like if not exactly like the G3 except you have the option to put an optic on here but if you don't if you're not a fan of that you're not ready for that yet it does have a nice set of steel sights that come with the gun uh, let me see if there's any other goodies in here I didn't talk about well there's a lot you know if you're into that and I'm certain that it also came with the allen wrenches or keys whatever you call them to remove your plate and install your sight back on there and again i think that the msrp i, I think i actually paid a little less than 399 but i think that's what the msrp is um this is a matte i think a tenifer finish um just i think it's the same finish that's on the uh, g3 and the well the original g3 and like i said it comes in around 400 dollars. i think i paid 379 plus tax so with tax i probably did have i probably did have somewhere around 400 dollars um in this in this gun so you know that another thing too that i that i want to mention just looking over this gun is that when you have an optic on here, yeah, you know, sure, you could use the optic to manipulate the slide. You could even push it down on a table, but you know, optics are very, very expensive and you want to be able to see out of this glass and your greasy, smudgy, um, blacking the fingers from shooting. You don't want to smudge up your, I don't anyway, 
and you know if, if you're one that pulls a slide back like this you know those rear slide serrations would be just fine but i like to grip like this when i rack one in and you're going to maul your glass and your optic and of course i would never do this unless it was definitely a life or death situation because i don't want to mar up my glass or the finish on my optic so having these front slide serrations here keep you from having to do that you get a nice purchase on the slide and i know that there are some that do not have that and you have to or you're forced to if you come over the grip like or over the site like i do to smudge it up or change how you do it so it's nice to have those front slide serrations you don't understand how much you appreciate the small things like that until you're actually shooting it and using it so we hope to get this to the range real soon again i apologize for not being able to shoot this i just got this home yesterday i put a few upgrades on it put the reflex on there looked it over took it apart oiled it cleaned it up played with it a little bit and even if that were not the case we don't get free ammunition we was just monetized a few months ago so we're having a difficult time with ammo just like you are but it is coming around it is becoming available the price is still way up but we hope that changes soon and that we're able to get to the range and show you how this thing performs i have no reason to think that it won't perform just as good as the other g3s that we have i really really like this gun i have carried this gun in a universal holster a belt holster that i like outside the waist it carries very very comfortably and it feels fantastic in the hand i like full-size guns i'm i'm not usually a fan of more compact guns so if you're into the glock 17 I'm not arguing with you whether or not the build of the 17s better than this one is the metal quality or none of that stuff, but I am telling you that we our experience has been that these are very reliable quality guns and no there is no grooves or stippling on the front of the trigger guard here, but the trigger guard is nice and squared off, nice large if you wanted to shoot with some gloves, you could easily get in there, but I think that you would be impressed as well if you've turned your back on uh, Taurus in the past. I think if you give them another chance, you would be just as, uh, as excited about them as we are. So go out, get you one of these. I definitely believe it's worth the money. Less than $400, you have an optic ready pistol. That's hard to find these days unless you wanna buy a Sky or something. And uh, that's kind of funny, we'll talk about that later. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. We definitely want to hear from you. We love to hear from you. Everyone gets a response. So throw that thumbs up. Ask any questions that you may have. I'm probably, I'm sure I missed something. I didn't cover something. We really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.